So my name is Frank van Harmelen. I'm a professor in knowledge representation at the Vrije Universiteit in Amsterdam. And uh, for the last uh, decade or so, we have been working on very large scale knowledge representation. So the idea is that we can represent knowledge as humans have it, but now represent it in a computer and do this at very large scale. Until say 10 or 15 years ago, it was uh, already very difficult to have a knowledge base with maybe a thousand rules or maybe 10,000 rules would be a very big number. And now we have been uh, able to scale this up using a combination of logic, computing and web technology. Now we are routinely manipulating knowledge bases of hundreds of millions of facts and rules. And we can store them, we can query them, we can do inference over them, we can, and they can reason, they can give us answers. So that has really been the breakthrough in our field in the last 10 years is that everything has become a million times bigger and still works. Sounds like Psyche in a way, right? Yes, uh, but, but Psyche was a, a very early attempt yeah, at doing yeah, this, yeah, 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 but they were very expressive. Yeah. And I think the secret sauce has been to dumb down the expressivity yeah. so that it scales much better. So for me, the, the big motivator in, in human-centered AI is that uh, we are seeing more and more that, that human intelligence will be, is very different from machine intelligence. Right? Humans and machines are very different. They reason in very different ways. Um, machines can spot patterns that the human eye cannot see. Uh, machines can do very long chains of, of reasoning that the human mind cannot do. But humans are socially embedded, they have ethical preferences. So there will be very different styles of reasoning between human intelligence and machine intelligence. So we shouldn't be trying to replace one with the other. And too much of current AI is aimed at the replacement model, at, at replacing uh, a human expert with a machine. Now instead, let us collaborate between humans and machines, and we are each good at very different things, and then the mixed team of humans and machines will be stronger than either the machines or the humans separately. And this collaborative aspect of working together between humans and machines, that is for me you know, the major uh, driver of the, of the Humane AI project. So my, my dream for, for the Human AI project is to build myself uh, a colleague. I want uh, AI to be my scientific colleague. I want to walk into my office in the morning and hear from my assistant, oh, I've read another 5,000 papers overnight and uh, you know, the conversation we were having yesterday, it's all wrong. We need to do it again after I've read these 5,000 papers. Right? And this is not just a machine doing data mining or pattern recognition or information retrieval on papers, but really a machine that collaborates with me in every aspect of science. It should read the literature, it should help me to formulate hypotheses, it should help me to design experiments, it should interpret the results, and it should help me to write the paper. So my dream would be to be the first one that publishes a paper that has an AI as a co-author. <laughs>